You are overrunning someone, but I will crack on because uh, give me a cheer if you have a drink in the interval. Give me a cheer if you have a wee in the interval. Give me a yeah with a line of coke in the interval. Wow, okay, come find me after the show, you're basically going to be able to talk. Uh, brilliant. We've got three acts to close up with, and they're all amazing, they're all super, all lovely, and I really need to stop walking and get them on stage with it, don't I? So, are you ready for your next act? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. For your big coat. Right, uh, 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 Right, what can I say about this next act? Apart from the fact that he's very lovely, he's very suit. And he's very dashing and charming and very funny and he's very wonderful and he's very here and he's very waiting for me to introduce him to come onto the stage. So please welcome to the stage, Mark Andrew Sajoko. Thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Hello. Yeah, right. Come here. I'm following something else quite actually amazing to see. A mind reader, probably the smartest, poshest bloke I've ever seen in my life. And now I'm up here, and you're looking at me, and all I can manage is looking like a pound land Jafar. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've only grown the hair and the beard because I'm trying to stop people mistaking me for David Baddiel. <laughs> 25 years of hell. A university career where not once did it get me laid. Not once. Five years of listening to the girls telling me what they'd like to do to the bloke over there in business studies who looked like Rob fucking Newman. And then getting dumped for a Frank Skinner lookalike. And now, I'm 51, 51, and yes, I am really, really, really happy about that. Yeah, God, when did I get so old? Where's it all gone? And I have friends who are also in their 50s, and they tell me the lie that 50 is the new 30. Yeah, 50 is the new 30, and they really, really want to believe that. All I can think is, well, obviously in numeracy is the new bloody arithmetic as well, isn't it? I mean, I don't even know where they get it from. I mean, are they trying some kind of weird conversion thing? You know, I'm talking Celsius years and Fahrenheit years. Or, metric and imperial years. You know, where, where, where is this from? Is this the new greatest promise Brexit? On Brexit day, all 50 year olds will now be 30. <laughs> you know, I mean, they've promised everything else, so why not? <laughs> and I, I keep thinking about it, and it is like they're trying to take us back back to some kind of mythical golden age they've got in their heads and I'm just thinking well, what kind of golden age is it and they say well it's one where wagon wheels will be the size of wagon wheels again <laughs> or cheese and onion crisps will come in green packets yeah. Yeah. Yes. that's the one that works isn't it <laughs> god we really hate Walker's crisps don't we <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and petrol, paint, and children will once again, quite like rightly, contain lead. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I do get told quite a lot that I look really good for a man in my 50s. Yeah, I think that's very nice of you. And I also think I'm more like that avocado you kept in the fridge for just too long. You know the one. The skin looks absolutely bloody fantastic, doesn't it? But as soon as you open it up, ah! Yes, you're not having that inside your body. 
that you will rank one sip to me. I mean, and, and, and it's true, you know, I, I am not aging brilliantly, I'm not happy about it, and I'm, I'm not dealing with it. I mean, God's sakes, I get out of breath going up here on the bus. <laughs> I have to be so careful with what I eat. If I'm not careful, it's like a red weather warning for potentially lethal winds. And I don't sleep the way I used to. When I was younger, I could sleep on anything. Chairs, floors, friends, girlfriends. <laughs> Chris Wilson's sister. Chris Wilson's mum. Chris Wilson's grand. Uh, not anymore. No. I mean, um, at my age now, I've had the, as it were, middle-aged health check. The one, you know, you get a phone call from your surgery about. I have a plaque build up around the blood vessels of my heart. I was with one here. Yeah, it's a plant filled up around the blood vessels of my heart. So I am now not just washing my mouth out with Listerine, I'm taking it intravenously every morning. <laughs> and I've had to go for an endoscopy. That's fun. Yeah. Turns out I've got no gag reflex. <laughs> And obviously, following all of these things, I now regularly play the game heartburn or heart attack. <laughs> yeah, haven't lost yet. <laughs> um, did get it wrong once, ended up in casualty, wired up, going deep. Well, I wasn't going deep, the machine makes me go deep. But, you know, there you are. In casualty, feeling sorry for yourself, thinking, oh, well, I'm going to die, our hurts, going to die, our hurts. Um, when in came this very sprightly lady doctor, picked me up, put me over her shoulder, and burnt me. <laughs> I really did not know whether to be horribly embarrassed or really, really grateful that I wasn't treated my actual age. <laughs> Um, I'll leave you with one final thought. I was in the shower a while ago and a, a blue team. And while I was. <laughs> it's a great word, isn't it? A blute. But yeah, I was a blue team away quite happily when I found a skin tag. I mean, and I found a skin tag. It was so large. So large. I thought I discovered my vestigial twin. <laughs> and in fact, the uh, very last time I was in bed getting into it with my now ex-wife, lifted up my arm, bang, instant threesome. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yeah. Have you met Trevor? <laughs> Turns out they're getting married next week now. <laughs> uh, oh, at least it doesn't look like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right now we've had we've had we've had funny people.